Back to questions about uh, taxes. Anthony here from Emil uh, wants to know, Paula, he says that he's filed his taxes in 2018, 2019, but not in 2020, and he did not receive either stimulus check. What are his options? Um, when he file, he needs to file a 2020 return, and he, if he's eligible, he can get a catch up, get his stimulus checks on his 2020 return. Okay, so if you didn't get the stimulus, you can get it on this year's tax return. You're still, uh, you'll, you still get the money. Yes, you still get the money. It will be on your 2020 return. Um, and if you didn't get the stimulus in 2021, a lot of people are confused about that. Let us know, and that will also be on your 2020 return. Okay, and were, weren't there some delays, like if people file, like like mailed their tax return, or you know, uh, weren't there some delays with people getting their stimulus check because of that? There, there was. We were actually eligible because of Hurricane Sally to. We had an extension until January 15th, so we actually had people still filing taxes in January, and they did not receive the second round of stimulus. Hmm. Um, Lewis from Mobile wants to know, uh, he says, I filed my taxes in early February. When should I expect a return? Um, typically, the IRS is, is on about a 10-day, so 10, 10 to 12 days from the time that you file your taxes. You can go to the, their website, irs.gov, and there is a link that says, where is my refund? Mm -hmm. And you can put in your information, and they can let you know where it is in the process. And it's faster if you give them your routing information, right? Your your bank account information, because they can just direct yes. deposit right yes. into your account. It's, it's yeah, slower, that's what right? I was. Yes, that's what I was talking about with about ten to twelve days. Yeah. Um, if you didn't have it direct deposited, it usually takes about a month.